for my mobile device, I make it of two columns. So I can just change this to from five to two counts. Press enter, change this to two columns. Then I don't like this red color. It's kind of distracting at all. So I can just change the color of this, my column settings here. I can just change it to something like this. So there's a color code I make use of. So B is B is B eight. Yeah, so I can still see it. I can still see it, but it's not distracting. So the opacity, this is just to change the opacity of the color of the column. So I'm just going to leave that thing. Then the stretch type, just let me let me change this to where so you see what is happening here. Yeah, so stretch type is just um you wouldn't really make use of this passive, but yeah, just have that in mind. Then um, let me change this to be so you don't get confused. So 10. Then margin. So margin is just the distance between the edge of your frame and um where you want to um, the edge of your frame and your next element. So let's say um I don't want my design to be close to the edge. I don't want it to be close to the edge like this. So I make use of 16 or 24. Now you notice the distance between the edge and the column here. So that's what the margin is for. Distance between the edge and um, the beginning of your design. So gutter is just the distance between the two columns here, the middle here. That's what gutter is. So let's say I want the gutter to be 16. You notice it's shrinking. Let's say I want it to be eight. It keeps on shrinking. So I'm just going to leave it at 16. Yeah. So that's my layout grid. Um, yeah. So now the first thing I want to do is um, I want to create a text, a text that says um, "Welcome back." So just it's um, a login form. Jamie. Welcome back. So like I said, um, shortcut to create a text to select the text to. You can come up here and just select the text to or you can hit C on your keyboard and just click on the frame. And yeah, so you have this here, so you can type in whatever what, whatever you want to type in. Let's say, welcome back. Now, this is too big for me. For a mobile screen, this is too big. So I can reduce the size by coming to the text properties here, down here to the right. So let's say, um, I can make it up 32, font size, so 24, yeah. Um, sorry, please excuse, sorry to interrupt you. Um, please, can you like change your editor to light mode? And um, please, can you okay. slow down a bit? They are saying you're too fast. Okay, okay, no problem. Um, let me change my... Okay, so um, I'm going to be slow. Like I, I don't want to take too much time. So, but yeah, let me just reduce my pace. So, um, where did we? Start? Okay, yeah. So, um, the font. I reduce the font size. You now. One thing you would notice is I'm making use of a particular set of numbers. 16, 24, 8, 32, and all. Now, the reason I'm making use of that is um, there's something called grid system. So there are different kinds of grid system. The popular ones are majorly four-point grid system and eight-point grid system. But right now, I'm making use of the eight-point grid system, which can also be the four-point grid system sharp. So yeah, so I'm making the figures I'm making use of are multiples of eight. So that's why I'm making use of number, numbers like 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, and all. Along the way, you get to understand that. But let's continue. Now, I don't like this font. I don't like this font. I want to change the font to something different. So I can come to the text property here. Click on the drop down, And um, it shows the list of the fonts you have installed on your desktop here. So let's say I want to make use of man rope. I can just type M-A-N, then 
I have one look here, so I can just select it. So that's a way to change your font. And um, let's say like this font is too thin for me. For a header, it's too thin. So I can change the style to let's say bold. Now you know there are some fonts that might not have all these um, options here. So take note of that. Some fonts might not have all these options here. Some fonts, some fonts might just have regular um, bold finish. Something I usually avoid. I mean, it's it's good to have different um, fonts variation, style variation, and all. So for a header, I want this to be bold. This is my heading text. I want this to be bold. So I'm just going to select bold here. Then right here, this is just line height. So for line heights, when you're trying to, let's say you have um, a paragraph text. Let's move this to regular. So let's say I have something like a line of text. Let me just make this of this. Yeah. So for line heights here, line heights is just distance between the first line and the second line. Just is the difference between the lines, like um, the distance between um, your lines of text here. So let me show you what it's, let me show you how it works. So let me just change this to 32. You notice the size increases. Let me change this to 56. The size increases. So there's a formula I use for this. I, the formula is just my font size times two. So let's say 16 times two. Yeah, that's the formula I use for my line height. So line height is just to, to um, encourage readability. If you have line, if you have text that chunked up like this, it will be too hard to, for users to actually read. So you want to make use of um, very, you want to space out your text here. Yeah. So that's how line height work. Let me delete this. Then the next option we have here is letter spacing. So letter spacing is just distance between each word here, um, each letter here. So let's say I increase this. You notice the distance between um, each letter here increases. I reduce it, it reduces. So I'm just going to leave it as zero. Yeah. So that's that for you. This one might not really use it like that. So just skip it. Yeah. So um, now not to waste too, much, waste too much time. Let me just create the sign up form for you. So let's say we have welcome back here. And um, I want to create a subheading as a caption. Rather, I want to create a caption. I reduce the font size to 16. Then Another, another formula I use to select font style is whenever you're trying to create um, a header and um, a caption directly under it. From if my header is bold, my caption for my caption, I usually skip a font width. I, I skip a font width and select the next one below it. So if this is bold, for this one, I'm going to skip semi-bold and select medium here so that's that i'm skipping for for the header here we have bold but for the caption here we have medium so i'm skipping semi bold here it's just to encourage um just to distinct the header from the caption so that's another way you can do that uh so let me just change this to please sign in to your accounts so now this is too close for me i can um i want to create space in between the header and um the caption here so i can just click and drag it down like this or i can use my arrow button click and just arrow button down and if you want to increase it by a large amount you can hold down shift so it increases by a large amount here. So yeah, that's for that. So I created um eight point spacing between the header and the body here. So 
to to um if you want to know the spacing between your element just click on a particular element let's say this text then hold down hold the alt key or the option key on your mark hold down the alt key then highlights just over on the um elements you want to compare it with so let's say i want to compare it with this um header here i just select the text here hold down out, then hover on the header here. Let's say I want to compare it with this. Um, I want to compare the distance here. I want to check the distance between the edge here and this text. Hold down Alt key and just hover on the frame. So it shows the number here 24 here, 131 here, and 129. Yeah, so that's for that. So um, the next thing I'm going to create is um, a text field, a text field. So yeah, I'm not going to go, uh, let me just, let me create something here. So let's say email, email address. That's for, that's a text field here. Just going to place it here. Now there's a feature in Figma that allows you to um, create, um, uh, what they call it now? Auto, there's an auto layout feature basically in Figma. So that lets you create containers. So containers help developers in whenever they are coding their, whenever they are trying to implement your design. So it's helpful when you're, it's helpful to use auto layout. Auto layout is very, very in depth. So it's something you might have to read, watch YouTube videos and understand. It's not something you might understand with one video, you watch videos on it. So, um to create an auto layout frame instead of grouping you create an auto layout frame so now for this text field i'm going to create an auto layout frame here so to create an auto layout frame there's a shortcut for that so the shortcut is shift a now you notice when i created this auto layout frame before i created it look at the look at the layers panel here is still recognizing it as a text here. So once I create the auto layout, it changes to a frame. So inside the frame here, you have the text. So the text is inside this container. So yeah, so that's for the auto layout. So I'm just going to click and drag here, then give it a few color. Now for this few color, and to the right here, you have this few option here. So just click on the plus icon here. Then click on the color palette here. Loads up the color um, interface. So I'm just going to select like um, a grayish kind of. Yeah, so this is OK. Now, OK, this is this text is too close to the top for me. So I'm just going to increase the distance of the top and the bottom. I'm going to increase the distance. So I can just, let me not, let me not make use of what the layout is. It's something that is kind of in depth. So I'm just going to click and drag this up then center it here, sorry, here, like so. So this font size is too big for a text field. So I'm just going to reduce this to, let's say 12. Yeah, 12 should be okay. And um, having black, having black on a gray, this thing on a grayish background is kind of off for me. I don't really like it, personal preference. So I'm just going to change this to something like this. Yeah. So 